Hello my crafty friends, it's Jelly Bean, and I'm back again. Um, this time I wanted to come show you what everyone created for the Holy Swappers Group 1 Swap 1. <laughs> um, Alicia has made up a group of swappers and she divided us into three groups alicia is wagman 510 and i'll link everybody's channel that i'm talking about down below in the description if you don't see it when you go down you have to click on the little show more and it'll drop down and everybody's channel will be listed there but um I have received everyone's bottle caps except for Alicia's and as we all know Alicia's overseas somewhere she's running around everywhere right now so I haven't received hers yet but I wanted to go ahead and do this because in the um, actual reveal that Alicia did she didn't have one of hers to show and I wanted to show hers and she didn't have Kayla's yet. So I thought I would go ahead and do this and show everyone the ones that I have. She had Alicia's so um, when you go down and click on her channel you can go over and see what Alicia sent everyone. I just haven't received it yet takes a long time to get stuff from overseas but anyway um I'm gonna start out with Alicia's because hers was not she didn't have one of hers she did what I did at first and she sent all of hers out and didn't have one to show <laughs> so I did that too but I had one partially made that I went ahead and put together so I could show but anyway her comes packaged up really cute and y'all excuse my hands i am working on something which i will be sharing later but um and this is snow stuff that wouldn't come off but anyway this is the way hers comes and she had a little tag on the front with everyone's initial and some little bling on it i thought that was really super cute and she put it on with a little clothes pin She's got a little note on the back, and she mentioned that this was the first time she had ever done a bottle cap. It's the first time I ever done a bottle cap as well. But she packaged it up in this really cute little bag, um, it's just a clear little bag, but she's got some shaker bits in here, some happy stuff, and it's just little iridescent stars and some of the clear bubbles, this like flat back um bling but it's like bubbles and some little pearls and i love those little stars they're iridescent but she put her bottle cap on a piece of acetate which i thought was brilliant i wish i would have thought to do that too but you know what that's why we do these because everybody's chosen gives us new ideas and she has put some of this really pretty trim hanging off the side she made a little charm and let me get a little bit closer here but she's got this really pretty trim that is tassels and i've never seen any like this this is really neat but she's tied on some pretty trim she has a lobster claw at the top a little dangle heart charm and a little tassel and her bottle cap i'm gonna take it twisted around here so y'all can see her bottle cap her bottle cap she actually put a bird image in there Just make sure y'all can see there we go and she painted her bottle cap a light pale pink and it's got a little pale pink bird in it which is adorable so that is her little charm that she created with her bottle cap and I think that is just super cute so that is Alicia's. Alicia with an A and Alicia with an E. 
The Alicia with the E is the one we don't have yet. <laughs> but Alicia's in Australia, so that bottle cap came all the way from Australia. The next one that we have that I love this envelope. She sent it in a vellum envelope that she made and I was like, wow, that is so cool. I would not be brave enough to send something in a vellum envelope. <laughs> but, um, just put a little note in there. And this is how hers comes packaged. She's got a little goodie bag here on the front that she secured with some washi tape. What will we do without washi tape, y'all? This is a little glassine bag little polka dot bag so cute let's see what kind of goodies she's got in here and oh wow she's got a whole bunch of little goodies in here oh that come off the sticky thing is stuck to the bag little these are cute look at these little scissors y'all Look at these. Let me put it where you can see it. Isn't that cool? I've never seen little wood veneer scissors like that. That is awesome. She's got the little scissors and she's got um some little adhesive like gems here and these clear things. I don't know what these are, but they're really cool. They're like a clear yellow, almost like a Looks like the old bingo chips, to be honest with you, the way they used to do those. But now I'm really telling my age. And then she's got some flat back um, zebra stripe and cheetah dot gems, which are super cool. And she's got a puffy heart. So cute. And a banner piece. A really cool paper clip in like a copper color. And she's got some die cuts, um, circles in gold. And a little dolly that she's die cut out. Look how tiny that is. That is really cute. And a little bow. And a heart that she's all die cut out. Super cool. I like getting die cuts because I can, sometimes I can put them on my brother's scanning cut. And cut them out that way. Kind of cheating which the only thing about doing that is it doesn't leave the like embossed marks and stuff like that but anyway that's her little goodie bag and here is her bottle cap look at that isn't that pretty she has taken and really put some layers on this little tiny bottle cap She's got some really pretty die cut butterflies here at the bottom that's three layers. It's, she's got um, the top layer and then tool and then the bottom layer. That's a good idea. I never thought about putting tool in between it. Awesome. But they got mashed in the, in the shipping. But aren't those pretty? And then, ta-da! Here is her bottle cap. And on her bottle cap, she's got the mashed bottle cap. She's painted white. She put some eyelash trim with a little bitty heart right there, which is super cute. She's got one of the Maggie Holmes little deer, more sunshine, and she's got two of the cabochon flowers with a pearl. And it looks like it's some Maggie Holmes paper back there. Now, I'm not real sure about that. I don't know Maggie Holmes paper like y'all do, but most likely it is and then she's got some pretty leaves that looks like she's fussy cut out here and put like a glossy coat on it and she's got this real pretty trim going around it isn't that beautiful gorgeous and that is Kayla Kayla's bottle cap and then I'm trying to I was going to try to lay them all in a tray and show them all together at the end, but... And the next one is Orlando. Orlando, I owe you an apology. 
when I've been emailing you and stuff, I've been writing Orlando, and I didn't realize it was an A until I seen Alicia do the reveal and everything when she said Orlando, and I was like, oh no, but you know, when I went to Florida with all this stuff going on with my dad and all, um, I was in Orlando, Florida, well, right near it. My son's in Orlando. So I guess that was just engraved in my brain, and I was saying Orlando. But it's Orlando, and I'm sorry I got that wrong. But anyway, let's take a look at her bottle caps that she has sent here. And, wow. First of all, let's look at her goodie that she sent. She's got a little note here and about the puzzle pieces she was telling us. She sent some really cool burlap trim on this card. There's three different kinds of burlap trim. Thank you for that. Wow. And then she has sent this gorgeous tag with her bottle caps on it. And look at this. She's She's put everybody's name at the top with a tag and a stamp that looks like canceled postage. Looks kind of like a luggage tag. That's really cool that she's distressed around it. And then she's got this great big gorgeous tag that she's distressed around the edges. She's die cut out um, these gears and put them on there. And then to her bottle cap, she's done a steampunk style bottle cap, which is really cool. This one here really catches my eye, so I'm going to start with this one here. It's a cat that she's put in here, a picture of the cat, and he's got a watch. Looks like hanging out of his mouth. And she's done her bottle caps in black, real shiny black. And on this one, she's got a chain charm hanging down with the gear on it. Isn't that cool? And then this one here, she has put some beads and a key dangle. She's got a picture of a corset inside of there with a flower cabochon inside. On this one right here, she's put it on burlap, a little piece of burlap. And she put some metal gears back here. And then she put her bottle cap on there. And... Inside the bottle cap, she's got some steampunk punk style paper. And she's got a metal gear in there as well. Aren't those pretty? Make sure to give y'all a good close-up view of those. So, those are Alanda's bottle caps. Put her paper over here. Thank you so much for all the goodies and everybody and then we have Miss Cruz's bottle cap and woo glitter glitter she sent us a couple sheets of paper we can use wow that's a pretty glittery pink and she wrapped her little now I opened this because she sent it in my other box and I thought it was part of the box so I opened this part and when I peeked in the little um, pillow box I was like uh oh <laughs> so I closed it real quick but that's why it's already torn she didn't send it that way <laughs> but anyway she put hers in this adorable little vellum looking pillow box it's more plastic it's not really vellum but it looks like vellum it's frosted pillow box I guess you'd say and she's got some tool wrapped around it with some die cuts here stitch die cuts and these are the same papers, excuse me, that she's included here. This is the back one, the real sparkly one. And then this one here is the one that she stamped hello on. Isn't that cute? She's got a couple little mulberry paper flowers here and a mulberry butterfly with a little tea tiny, tea tiny bow. And... Let me see which end did I open. I closed them back wrong whenever I did. Alright. And her adorable little bottle cap she's created. She actually created a pin and she's pinned it through the card right here. 
but she's got a white bottle cap and she's got some itty bitty little tea tiny mint green bling going around she's got a picture of the butterfly in there it looks like she fussy cut out and she's put one of those um clear glossy things on top <laughs> But then she added some charms, some little bead charms here with the little beads in pink and mint green, white. And of course there's the yellow because Cruz's favorite color is yellow. So that is her super cute little bottle cap. And she also has a little goodie bag, which she, oh, she sent one of those. I wish I had had one these when I did mine, but I didn't. But it looks like she has sent everything to actually make one similar to the one she made. She's got the wire to string up the beads, and the beads and the jump rings are in here, and a little pin thing that you can put on the back. There's your bling pieces, and here's the clear part that goes in the center. What a super cute idea to send a kit to make another one. So you can have two to match. Make one for my mom and I can wear one. I can wear cruises and then my mom can wear the one that I make. Wouldn't that be cute? So that is what Cruz has sent. I'm just trying to put all this back in here so I won't lose track of it because I'm really good at not being able to find things <laughs> so if I keep it together I'll be okay alright let me set this over here and then I'm just going to show you real quick what I made so you can see them all together um, this is what I created and I just made a little dangle charm I kind of wish I didn't think about making it a pin, but I kind of wish I would have made a pin out of it. But I made a dangle charm, and I had these little metal pieces here, but they were kind of a silvery, aluminum-looking piece. And I took that gold um, leafing pin that I showed y'all I got at Family Dollar for $275. And I colored it so it would be gold. And then I put a couple, well I put a jump ring on it and put a lobster claw. And then I put another jump ring with this little heart that says made with love. Now, on the ones I sent out, I put gold, little made with love. I was out of gold, so to put this one together to show you, I used one of the copper looking ones. Which, it kind of looks okay, but the others are or gold on top of my metal filigree piece that I painted gold I put this lace and it's not a dolly it's actually lace that I put around the bottom of the bottle cap and for my bottle cap I took and cut out well I punched I used a paper punch punched out the little pictures of the little girl and it's kind of a vintage um sepatone except for the flowers and the flowers were pink and blue so that's why i put the pink pearls around the edge of the bottle cap and then at the bottom these are two separate earrings that i put together and the bow is one and then this dangle was another and I cut the backs off and I glued them on there separately but I just put the bow and then the dangle part and that is my bottle cap so I kind of wanted to put them all in this little tray and show y'all all of them together which I'm finding hard to do <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to do like that. Because I didn't put mine on the card like I sent it. I just did that. But there we go. Here are all the bottle caps in the swap. Except for Alicia's with an E. Wagman 510. And if you go to Alicia with an A. She did a reveal video. And she has 
um, and hers the ones that Alicia with the E made. <laughs> and I know that's kind of confusing for our, those who don't know us, but anyway, these are our altered bottle caps for our Holy Swappers Group One Swap One. And next month for our group, Orlando will be the host and she has already sent some puzzle pieces, so I know we're going to be altering puzzle pieces for our next swap. So, y'all, stay tuned. You never know what we'll come up with next. So, thanks for watching. Y'all have a crafty day, and we'll see you real soon. Bye for now.